Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a pointer record or PTR record, which is a DNS record for your DigitalOcean droplet. Now, sometimes this is called or known as a reverse DNS record. Some of the use cases for this would be for uh, email deliverability. So, if that's something we we'll want to learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Okay, so I have a, a single droplet in my DigitalOcean panel here, and right now, um, for a lot of people, it's not very obvious how to set up the pointer record. And that's kind of why I decided to make this video. Um, we have we have an IP address for this. And let me just show you that the pointer record is not set up at this point. And, and while I'm doing this, let me explain what a pointer record is just to make sure we're all on the same page. So a DNS A record that maps a domain name to an IP address, well, a pointer record is exactly the opposite. A pointer record maps an IP address to a domain name. So basically, dnschecker.org allows you to look up these DNS records. Uh, let's see for the pointer record for the server that we're working with, 165.22.180.105. Let's see if there's any pointer records associated with that, and there's not. So we want to set that up. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, like I said, it, the in order to set up a pointer record for uh, uh, your droplet, you go into networking, you go into pointer records, and it says you don't have any pointer records. DigitalOcean Digital will automatically create a pointer record for a server when you rename the host droplet to the fully qualified domain name of a domain you are managing on your account. So what the heck does that mean? Well, basically, you have to come back to your droplets in rename it from WordPress-Ubuntu-S, whatever it is right now, to be your domain name. So this doesn't look like it's editable, but if you click on here, you can edit this. And uh, I own the domain name careerquitter.com. So by changing the name of the droplet to the domain name that you own, you will set up a pointer record. So let's go ahead and let that rename it. It has been renamed, the droplet has been renamed. So um, there is usually a, a delay, some type of propagation delay. So we'll check it right away, but if it's not uh, up and running yet, uh, what we expect to see is when we look up this IP address, we wanna see careerquitter.com associated with that in the results. Uh, but like I said, it might not happen right away. So let's see what happens. Uh, nothing yet, let me pause the video here and give it a few minutes and then when it finishes i'll catch back up with you okay guys i'm back not too much later maybe five or ten minutes and we can see here that uh we're starting to see some ptr records show up on different dns servers around the world so we got this one in canada uh where we can when we, again to remind you we're looking at the ip address it's showing us the pointer record associated with that which is the value of the domain name so uh this IP addresses associated with Career Creator here and down here in China and Turkey. Um, and basically, if you're not familiar with um, uh, DNS servers, there's there's basically DNS servers around the world that uh, handle these mappings between IP addresses and domain names and vice versa. So this will take probably, you know, it varies. It really, really does vary. Uh, it could be anywhere from a few more minutes for all of these servers across the world to resolve to that pointer record, or it could be, you know, a few hours, even up to a day or two. So um, in my experience, it's been more like at most an hour or so, uh, but just for, and here we go, we can see the, the New York site has been now um, in Holtzville, New York. We now have that one updated to show the uh, careerquitter.com pointer record. So guys, with that said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you want to see more videos like this from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.